Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next question dealing with similar triangles. So we're told an engineering firm wants to build a bridge across the river as shown. So right here, this is the bridge from point A to point B, and they measure the following distances. So the distance from B to C is 1200 feet, like that. And then from C to D, this is going to be 40 feet. And then from D to E over here is going to be 20 feet. And if the railings cost $4 per foot, how much will it cost to put railings on both sides of the bridge? So what they're going to do is they're going to put railings on this side of the bridge. And then they're also going to put railings on this side of the bridge like that. Right. And each of these railings, they cost $4 per foot. And so we have to find out how much it's going to cost. Well, notice that we can actually, so let me erase these railings here. So notice we could actually set up similar triangles here because notice that we have a triangle right over here. Okay, so this line continues to go here and then it extends to this line and this is a 90 degree triangle. And then also this is a 90 degree triangle. So notice that this and this are the same angle. And if both triangles have this angle as the same one, they both have a 90 degree angle, well, that means that this angle and this angle have to be the same as well, because all the angles have to add up to 180 for each triangle, right? So both of those are similar triangles. And so if we draw these triangles to be in the same format, so the larger triangle, this one over here, which is triangle A, B, and C, right? This is this angle, 90 degrees. We have that theta here, and then we're told BC is 1,200 feet. And then if we draw the smaller triangle, so if we take this triangle, rotate it, so it's placed in the same way that this one is according to the angles. So if it's placed like this where the angles line up so we got this angle we got the 90 degrees we have the theta here well notice that from the um this angle over here to the 90 degrees that is uh c d and then this is e right there right this vertice with this angle is e so we just took this triangle and we rotated it to be in this format. And then we're told that CD is 40. And then we're told that ED, this here is 20, like that. And now that we line the triangles up like this, it's easy to tell, well, we're trying to find out what's the length of the bridge. So we're solving for this X value. And notice we could use ratios here because both of these triangles are similar. And then once you line them up with the same angles, it's easy to see, well, we could take X over 20 and make it equal to 1200 over 40, like that. All right, sometimes from this, when it's like this, it's kind of tough to tell which sides line up with which sides, but once you take whatever triangle, rotate it, so it's with the same triangle, you gotta make sure that you still label the sides correctly, everything checks out then it's easy to see what you do. And so to solve for this X value, which is the length of the bridge, we're gonna be using this ratio. So let me actually erase this just to give myself some room. So I got X over 20 equals 1200 over 40. So then we could cross multiply 40 times X gives us 40 X. And then 1200 times 20 would give us 24,000 like this. And then we could divide both sides by 40 like that. And so we would end up with X equaling what? Uh, 600. So the bridge is 600 feet like that. However, we need to put railings on both sides. So we really, the amount of railings that we need, because we're putting it on both sides of the bridge, it's going to be 600 feet times two which is gonna give us 1,200 feet, right? And so what's the cost gonna be? Well, each uh, foot costs $4. So the cost is going to be this 1,200 feet 
the total amount of railings we need times four, which would give us $4,800. So that ends up being the final answer right there. Right, so we had to solve for the length of the bridge using similar triangles, and then we could find the cost.